I can get you anything you need help with. I just want to check that creepy door off behind you, but that's okay. Ah! Imagine tripping and your entire freaking head falls off. It looks like you had some jam left on your face. <laughs> no, that's that's the blood of his victims. All of his old lines to you over and over and over again. Welcome back to my Masquerader. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Para, your host, and today we're going to be playing Sweet No Death. Thank you for Lukezilla for recommending this game. This game is also made by Arcade Kitten, which is the same person that made Crow Scare, It's Not Me, It's My Basement, Blacker Hospital, and many more. And I made playlists for all those games, so if you want to go check it out, then please do, because I did make and complete and get all the endings of Blacker Hospital, and I'm very proud about the way that series came out. So consider checking it out after this, or don't. That's your choice. Let's begin. Wow. Considering the way all of Arcade Kitten's games kind of go, if it's not a little bit gory and unsettling, it's not an Arcade Kitten game. Once upon, Once a, time, upon a time, there was a small, was a small woodland, woodland town. town. In a land, In a where, land the where the grasses grow pink, grow pink and, the and the trees hold trees yellow leaves up to the sun, to the sun as if to, as mirror, to her. mirror her. Mirror her. In this, town, In this town lived many, lived animals, many animals who would spend who their spend days their frolicking, frolicking along the grass, along the grass and, their and their evenings gazing up at the stars. And, and one very, one very fateful, fateful night, night, a star, a fell. star, a fell. star fell. A shooting star, a shooting star that had blazed its way across the galaxy. The galaxy. It shone brighter it shone than brighter anything that had seen. It, had seen. it, landed, it right landed right beside their quaint their forest town. And then something, and then something quite, quite curious, curious happened. happened. From, the From the remains of the comet emerged, emerged a magical a star witch. Star witch. The animals the were animals curious, curious, asking her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? She answered, she answered that she was a blessing from, a blessing the, stars, from the stars, gifted with all, gifted kinds, with all kinds of magical, magical power. power. She promised, she to, promised use to use this power to make their to lives as happy as, happy as can, as be. can be. Using, Using her, magic, her magic, she turned she a turned once a pleasant, pleasant community, community into an even into more, delightful more delightful one, one creating, creating many friends many in the process. In the process. And, so, and so, they all they lived all in magical harmony. Until... Good morning, world! Always a pleasure to wake up to you! Here's to a good day today! Now, what was I doing today? Huh, wait! Right, right, right! Raj wanted to meet me down by the river for a picnic this morning! I should start heading over there after I do my garden work for today! X to open the menu and to cancel it. Oh gosh, it's been so long since I played an arcade kitten game. Arrow keys, space or enter. Okay, my garden work. This star plush was gifted from Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop, what a name. It was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here. You remember him being a bit sheepish, presenting it to you. Let me guess, he's a sheep. He said that he hoped you would think of him when you hold it. Oh dear. My hmm. goodness. You do. Are we like, I don't know, with this Lamb Chop guy? These candles were a gift from Raj. This basket was a gift from Ruby. Ruby, a cow? No, I don't think so. Your cauldron. You use it to whip up potions and other magical concoctions to help your animal friends with whatever ails them. You feel like you've been using it more than usual lately. Oh, why is that? All right, I guess my garden's not in here, so I'm like, <gasps> goodness gracious, what the, what the heck is this world? It's so pink. It's so colorful. Is this my garden work? Let me guess, the red flowers. Oh my! Moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. You aren't sick, are you? Here, I've got you. There you go, feel better? I'll leave a little extra magic for you. <laughs> See, all better. Oh, you grew in beautifully. Take a little water, a generous magical sprinkle. There you go. You should be good for the next few days. Dang. Wow. Goodness, how pretty you are. I could stare at you all day. But I'm a bit busy for that. A little magic for you. There we go. All right. Oh, that's the other. Oh. So opalescent. You're gorgeous. A bit of magic for you, and that's all you need. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let me get going. 
So let me get this right. So I may or may not have turned every animal that was living here also happily um, into a person. Like I made them people. I gave them I gave them consciousnesses. Hello. <gasps> Is that lamb chop? Lamb chop's Venus flytrap, aptly named Venus. It looks like she's been recently fed. Oh, you own a candy shop. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Uh, hi, Stella. Can I help you with anything? No, no, I just wanted to say good morning. Didn't feel right not to check on you. You are my friend, after all. Is that so? Oh, aren't you the sweetest? I feel like that's not really his voice. Is that so? Nope. Is that so? Actually, I don't know. We'll see. Do you have any plans for today, Stella? You're always quite busy. I do! I'm actually on my way to meet Raj by the river right now. He invited me to a picnic. I think he wanted my approval for some of his cooking. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> right, I remember Raj telling me all about this. I even gave him some candy earlier for you guys to share. You did? That was very nice of you. Are you... doing anything other than running the candy shop all day? Oh, indeed I am! After the store closes for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're going to try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group picnic. For the next group picnic. Haha, <laughs> I'd like to see Raj try besting us when it comes to the culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it will be lovely and delicious. Would, um, I be able to help you guys, maybe? Oh, it's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own, promise. Ah, uh, well, if you say so. I ought to get going. I don't want to keep Raj waiting too long. Right, see you later, Stella. Have a great morning. Yes, you too. Ah, uh, let me get this right. There's cannibal. Oh, uh, Stella, there's no need for you to come behind the counter. I can get you anything you need help with. I just want to check that creepy door out behind you, but that's okay. So let me guess, the pie is going to get stuck with meat, maybe? He didn't say, like, a dessert pie. River ahead. Okay. But I don't know. Maybe maybe Lamb Chop's not the bad guy here. Although, it's a little sus. Just a little bit. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Whose house is this? Acorn's house. You knock on the door, but they appears they aren't home right now. Buck's house. You knock on the door, but it appears he isn't home right now. Okay. The neighborhood stretches outwards, but you don't need to go much further than here. Alright. Well, this town is just lovely, isn't it? Look at all these colors. Gosh. Oh. Uh, just when I was saying this town was lovely. See, this is why I don't go outside. Huh. No. We aren't doing this. This isn't that kind of story. Fix it. Magic it away. Fix it. Oh, Raj. Where's your head at? <laughs> yeah, bro. Where is your brains at right now, huh? Stop dying. Look, look at all the mess you've made. Okay, so I'm just gonna ignore that he's dead. All right, well, we're not doing the story. You are not leaving Raj like this. Oh, I gotta find his head. Oh, oh, I see it. It's behind the bush. Huh, there you are. Collected Raj's head. Yo, <laughs> there's your brains at, buddy. You put that head back on, you silly willy. There, that's all the blood done away with a quick spell. Now, to put your head back on your neck. Boop! Alright, now we just... Ah! Hello, Stella! Hello, Raj. You good now? You made it, just in time. Raj, are you okay? Yes, why? Like, you feel fine. Nothing hurts you, or anything? Um, I suppose I do have a bit of a headache. But that might just be from tripping into the ground earlier. You tripped. That's all that happened? Imagine tripping and your entire freaking head falls off. Dang. I know, I know. I'm not usually so clumsy. Which uh, also brings us to the bad news. Bad news? What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped, it was, uh of a nasty fall and because I was so close to the river when it happened well I kind
kind of spilled all our food into the river. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, Raj, that isn't bad news at all. I thought you were going to tell me that you died two seconds ago, but let's just ignore that. The important thing is that you're safe. I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like this. Goodness, if only I looked where I was going. Raj, really, it isn't a problem. But what about you? What are you going to do for breakfast now? I'll just, like, go home or maybe go to the bakery. I don't know. I have plenty of food at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? You said you had a headache, right? You ought to lay down and rest. Maybe use some of that medicine I gave you to, to store at home. If you need more, just tell me and I'll make another batch. <laughs> no worries, Stella. I think I've still got enough. You know best, and a nap does sound nice right now. But promise me we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything next time. Probably. Bye, Raj. Hmm. <laughs> I should look around a bit. Is there anyone else outside right now? Why are they killing at each other? Is it because, you know, predators and little tiny bunnies shouldn't live in the same neighborhood? Or is it something different? Or does someone just, like, hate living in this time loop? Foreshadowing. Let's see. Is anyone out right now? Anyone else just chilling? You've had many lovely lunches and tea breaks with friends sitting here. I think so, innit? Hello? Oh, hello, Acorn. Oh my gosh! Hi, Stella! Hi, Acorn. How was your day? Is it going well? Do you need help with anything? Actually, my day could... Probably be a bit better. <laughs> oh? Why do you say that? Is it anything I can help with? Uh, maybe. I don't know. See, I needed some help watering some star flowers in my yard. Oh, star flowers are my favorite! Don't I know it? And I borrowed this watery can from Buck the other day, right? So, of course, I wanted to give it back to him now that I'm done using it. But, uh, he hasn't been answering his door all day. I, uh, actually haven't seen him anywhere all day, even though I went looking for him. He wasn't in any of his usual places, and no one I ask has seen him. Really? Nobody at all? Nope. Well, maybe Lamb Chop has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. How do you mean? I mean, he kind of seemed to be in a grumpy mood today. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway into the back of his store. He said he didn't have time to help me look for him or whatever, and that he was busy. I asked if I could at least see what he was so busy with back there, but he said it was super secret. No boys or girls allowed. I reminded him that I'm not either of those. And he slammed the door in my face. <laughs> well, dang, not even the pronouns can work for that one. No boys, girls, or they thems allowed. No nobody, no sentient living. You should've just put no breathing humans allowed. Only dead people, because I'm pretty sure Lamb Chop's the bad guy. I'm sorry. L listen, I looked at Lamb Chop and he was just giving me off serial killer sheep vibes. You know, you just, just look at a sheep and you're just like scared oh. because some sheep are cute and some sheep look like they're gonna kill you. Yeah. Well, that's not very nice at all. No, oh, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy, that's all. I'm sure he didn't even mean it. I'm probably just taking it the wrong way. I don't know what he'd be getting so stressed over, though. Life here is a dream, especially with you around. Well, if you think it's just stress, then... You know, speaking of Lamb Chop, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped by his store this morning and I completely forgot while I was in there that I wanted to pick up some candy myself. Ah, I see. Yeah, I think you should go see him again. If he is in a grumpy mood, I think seeing you would cheer him up. You think so? What makes you say that? Because seeing you always cheers me up. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think that you're the best, but I think he always liked you best best ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I won't waste any time then. I'll go see him. I hope you can find Buck in the meantime. You and me both. 
Uh, okay, all right. So Landchop likes me. Is he? He's not Yandarin, is he? Or Yandere? Whatever the heck you want to call it. Is he? He might be. He might be killing people because he's all like, let's eliminate the competition. Am I right? All right, Landchop, give him up. I know what you're hiding back there. You see what I told you? Serial killer lamb vines. I read animals like this, baby. Uh, Stella, there's no need for you to come behind the counter. Yeah, uh-huh, bucko. Why's your face all bloody, huh? Hi again, Stella. Hi again, lamb chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you had s some jam left on your face. <laughs> no, that's, that's the blood of his victims. It's blood. <laughs> Excuse me? It's blood. Well, do you... Do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Are you sure? Well, if you're going to make such a fuss about it. So, what is you came back in here for? Uh, uh to check if you murdered Buck, maybe for any reason? I just wanted to check on you, that's all. Uh... Ah, oh, you really care about me, don't you? Well, Stella, as much as I love to see you, I ought to start preparing to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for when I meet up with Ruby in a bit. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Certainly. Did you murder that bunny? Did you murder that heckin' bunny? Hmm, I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? Yeah, we might as well go check on our other kids. Ruby, are you also the Sarah kill- Did you kill Buck and he killed Rouge? Or did you kill Rouge and he killed Buck? Ruby! Stella! She never say my name right. It's Ruby! Oh, she's a name. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> you gotta stay with the Rue! Like, ah! Aru! 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 So, Ruby, there was actually something I wanted to ask you about. Lamb Chop is coming over tonight, right? To try out new recipes and stuff? Would you want me to stay and help? I know my way or two around the kitchen, you know. Oh, um, no, that's okay. Item. Rather be a surprise. Yeah. Huh? Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot. You like like lamb chop. <laughs> what? Hey, that's not true. It's not? So you don't care about having alone time with him after all? Eh. Hey. Well, well, maybe, maybe a little. <laughs> I see, I see. I get it. Well, I don't want to intrude on you if you don't want me here for it. Just, um... P please stay safe, won't you? Of course, Stella. I always keep things safe in the kitchen, and I never forget my oven mitts. R right I'll, uh, see you tomorrow? See you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure to save extra for you. It'll mean the world to me if you'd like what we came up with. <laughs> woof, woof. You did... Can I check door? You can't go in there without Ruby's permission! Gosh, all that barking almost made me cringe, but I had to commit. I already did the first- Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just the sunset. I was like, why is this all pink out here? Did they somehow murder the sun as well? Sunset, it's getting late already. I suppose I better get home then. Home we go. Alright. Don't wait. Hold on. I need to. Uh, I need to just you know check around one more time. What if I miss something? There's two endings. There's a true ending and there's a wrong ending. Something like that. So I'm just gonna check around. You know, see if I can find what's his name, Buck's house. Yeah. Okay. Aircorn's already home. Let's go check Lamb Chops real quick, just in case I can break into his house and see who he murdered. Do, 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 do. Looks like he's already closed up shop. Can I open it? We are the leader of this town, is not? If Chief wants to go in and look at uh, baby want- Yes. 
Why not? I'm the queen of this town, am I not? All right, Mimi time. It's bedtime, isn't it? Yes, why are you asking me? Well, I'm all ready for bed. Hmm. Gosh, what is he doing right now? I should... Oh, Lamb Chop. I hope you're not being too rough on her. She's softer than the others. Uh-oh. Ruby's dead. Good morning! I should bring Ruby breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lamb Chop all night. <laughs> I didn't even eat yesterday. Oh, man. Now, let's see here. A little of this. Definitely this. Um... Okay, yes. This should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything went wrong, I can fix it. You can't fix it, honey. You can't fix it. Do I gotta check on my garden again? No, I do not. Uh, real quick, just checking it on... <laughs> yeah, actually, let's go look at Ruby first before we arrest Lamb Chop. We should, we should have a prison, okay? I don't know what... I know you're trying to make this town a wonderful place, but... We need a prison. Ruby! I was wondering if we could have breakfast... Oh, no. Ruby. Sorry, Stella. I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. C can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Okay. What the heck? Now, Ruby. While I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? I... I didn't mean to. I did, didn't want to do it. I'm sorry, I didn't. I shouldn't have. But, 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 but I... <laughs> hey, hey, calm down, calm down. It's okay, Ruby, you're safe, and I'm here to help you. Just tell me what happened, if you can. Did you kill Lanchop? L last night. Now this and this. Perfect. Now, it'll be ready for when... Chop, you're here! <laughs> I've been so excited! But what do you want to try making first? Oh well, wait, you've got a basket! What did you bring? We can use that for the first pie before it goes bad. Oh. Yeah, that's Buck. What? 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 You don't mind that I brought a friend for dinner, do you? Is this like... Gosh, what's that saying? The wolf in sheep's clothing, but this is the sheep in wolf's clothing? Like what? Eat it. Huh? Did I stutter? Eat. It. What are you talking about? You're a wolf, aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You can't be Lamb Chop. I, I, I don't know who you are, but I'm, I'm never going to eat one of my friends. I'd never eat anyone. Come now, that's not true. Don't think I don't notice the way you look at me, Ruby. Everyone thinks you have a crush on me, but that's not quite true, is it? I think you want to eat me. Are you, like, delusional, buddy? Because, like, Ruby seems really sweet. Though I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. How are you meant to love something you don't want to destroy? Well, eat it already. So, something's wrong with you. You're, you're crazy. Ruby, shut it. Eat it before I make you eat it. Gosh darn. <laughs> I want to go home. Aw, look. You made me get my hands dirty. Tastes good though, doesn't it? I should hope so. It took a lot to get to this point. <laughs> oh, Ruby. You've got such a beautiful smile. Um, pension to kill Lamb Chop? I, I didn't want to do it. I, I pr pr promise. But he 
dug his hands into the basket and... And... Ruby, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for telling me as much as you did. He, he was right too, Stella. Huh? It, it did taste good. I, I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Ruby. I'm all done. Now, let's wipe your face and drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. Mm, Stella, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel so good. I feel like, like I gotta, excuse me. Dear me, what the heck was in that potion? Did we kill her? Oh. Wow, me! I feel so much better! You were right! Oh, good! I'm so happy to hear that! Instant amnesia, mother hickers! <laughs> Dang, I need one of those! What, what do I get one of those? Now, may I ask you again about last night just really quickly? Sure! What do you want to know? Well, um, what happened last night? Oh, well, Lamb Chop came over to bake pies with me? And? That's all I can remember, actually. Ha <laughs> ha. I tell you what kind of recipes we tried out, but I honestly can't recall. It's kind of blurry, almost. All I can think about was how excited I was when I saw him come to the door. Everything after that just isn't really common to me. I may have been daydreaming the whole time. Ha <laughs> oh, ha. No worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though, I do wonder... Hmm. I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check on something. Okie dokie! Feel free to pick up any sweet treats for yourself on the way out. Um, can I have a donut? You're always surprised by how much Ruby can turn out all by herself. That's cool. Okay. Thanks. I can't even get a pie. Oh, that's fine too. Buck! Buck! I thought you died. Ah, Stella? Oh, Buck. Oh, I'm so happy to see you alright. Do you, um, this might be strange, but, um, where did you come from? Oh, you noticed, uh huh? I thought I could sneak out undetected. But, uh, really weird. Wait, what the frick is his voice? I, like, went to go help Landchop with something. And then I just woke up in Ruby's bathroom. I don't know how I got there, but I didn't want to spook her, so I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess you caught me anyways. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> right, when she puked you up, you must have materialized out of the organs that she ate, of course! Like a little worm that you can't kill because it has like a bajillion hearts. Well, uh, oh! Acorn's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. <laughs> Got it. I'll go look for them now. What the frick is going on here? Just kill everybody. He can't keep doing this. No, just kill Lamb Chop. He's the problem here. He's the whole problem. But let me guess, you have a crush on him. Oh, of course you do, woman. <clears throat> Anything you want to tell Mother Dearest, darling? Hi, Stella. Good morning. Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little grumpy. <laughs> You know I saw everything you did, right? Oh ho! Did you? Did you like it? No, Lamb Chop, I didn't. And I fixed it. You... Did you think I couldn't? I fixed all of them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead, no one's injured. They don't even remember it. Again. I fixed everything again. Stella, you... Evil? Oh my gosh! I hate you! What the heck? What the? I thought... I thought he liked me. Lamb Chop! Lamb Chop! Listen to your mother! Where do you think you're going? You think you can just like walk away from me after that attitude, young man? Huh? I see you decorated more since the last time. Mm-hmm. How nice of you to notice. What's the meat from? Acorn. 
Land chop, we need to talk about this. Should have eaten the Then we maybe maybe we wouldn't be having this problem. What are you talking about? Heh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see you try fixing that. Lamb chop! Why do you keep doing this? Because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. How isn't it? Because you're not telling me anything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There, are you happy now? Do you think I'm stupid? That I'd accept you just want to do this stuff because it's fun? How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? Oh, frick off, Stella. You'd never understand me anyways. Get the f*** out of my shop. Grab the axe. Ew. No, grab the axe and murder that child. I don't like his attitude, first of all. Alright? Nah, nah, you still gonna let him live, Stella? Oh, you got the patience of the priests. No, not yet. What do I have to do, huh? What do I have to do? Get evidence? You're telling me I can do something because you asked me if I could leave or not. Unless I have to talk to him again. I'll do it. I don't like your attitude, young man. What are you still doing here? I thought I told you to frick off. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. Heh, <laughs> that's just like you. It's always about what you want. The entire world is always about what you want. Oh? What I want? It's about what everyone wants. Everyone gets to eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you be asking for? What more do you want? I want you to drop dead. This isn't the land chop I met when I first came here. He would have never said that to me. No, it's not. And he wouldn't have. But I like this one better. I guess you just have to deal with it, hero. You know what's funny? I never really thought much of Ruby. Or really, I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf with pointed claws and sharp teeth, yet indiscernible from any prey animal. You may as well have defanged her in the entire time you've been here. But last night, something happened. I watched her gnash away at what I made out of Buck. And something about it. When I saw her like that, crying, her mouth just dripping with blood, I just, her teeth were all red. I feel like the way it was meant to be. And looking at it, it's like I was overcome with this urge suddenly, what I never felt towards her before. Huh? And? That is? I wanted to kiss her. What? Gosh. Okay, did you? Huh, <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple with the idea. Why, because I like you? What? Are you still wondering if I tell you? <laughs> you know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. That's freaking weird. Please stop. I mean, come on. You look like an angel when you first got here. The way you spoke to us was nothing but comforting, and you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was I not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was entrapped by you, completely set the way in how absolute above me you were. Absolutely above me you were. And now, I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way too, didn't you? When I think about how Ruby looked last night, it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment she looked so beautiful and felt so... real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all the time that's passed, I realized that's even more true now. The way I am now, I feel like a person, like more of a person than I've ever been before. I see everyone else the way you always have. How can you expect me to feel bad about what I did to Buck, to Raj, to anyone? Am I supposed to feel guilty about what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person. Not yet. Not the way that you and I are. 
But she could be. She could be, if you let her. But who am I kidding? You won't even let me. No, Lamb Chop. No. It doesn't sound right. No, you're not convincing me. It's not. No. Your PowerPoint isn't working. But Stella doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? That's what I am to you, right? Am I your friend? That's so funny. I don't ever recall you being mine. Excuse me? Hmm? How can you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do is for you. Aw, oh, did that make you mad? You're really cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point though, doesn't it? The second something isn't the way you want it to be, you get mad. Imagine how I feel repeating the daily cycle of living in a sugar-coated hell. If anything, you should be happy it took me so long to get to this point. But no, you wouldn't be happy for me no matter what. Because the stuff that's fun for me isn't the stuff that Stella likes to see. And anything that doesn't fit into Stella's idea of a comfortable and perfect world has got to go, right? Uh... Maybe I'd be happy for you if your idea of fun wasn't killing all your friends and making them eat each other. Did you ever think about that? Of course I have. But then I thought about it some more. And do you really treat them that much better? You really have completely lost it, haven't you? Oh, you're so funny. Who do you think I learned how to love from? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you'd even compare me. I don't love like this. Oh, my stars, you can't even see it. You're delusional. Explain it to me, then. How are our ideas of love possibly the same? All right, then. Let's take a look at the way you love. You arrive here on a falling star, and the second you do, you take this entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they didn't even know they had. Problems they never even asked for help with. Suddenly, you're the center of their lives, of everyone's lives. They're planning their days around you, doing things that they'd hope will make you happy in the end. You've consumed their minds just like you did mine. And so, when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything without eating it. And now, I'm not sure if I can see love any other way. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. You and me, husband and wife, what do you say? We've already bound each other together in eternal misery, might as well make it official. Maybe by the end of it all we'll finally eat each other, and then neither of us will be winners. Lanchop, stop this already. Can't you understand I don't want you to be miserable? Ha, <laughs> could've fooled me. You've been doing nothing but making me miserable for who knows how long now. I want you to be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this. I just... I don't get it. Everyone else is happy with the way things are, so why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? Okay, now you're really starting to get on my nerves. You're not even listening to me, are you? I mean, <laughs> why would you? Of course you're not listening to me, because I'm not saying what Stella wants to hear. You just want and want and want. It's all you've ever done from the moment you landed here. You just want what you want, and so you take it. With no regard for anyone here, because what do we want? We want what we're supposed to want. And what we're supposed to want is what makes Stella happy. And if something's not making Stella happy, then there's something wrong with the things we want. Because Stella, beautiful, stupid, abrogating, celestial Stella, can never think of anything other than what she wants. And she can handle that for the first time since she got here. It isn't about what she wants. It's about what I want. Then what is it you want? I want misery. I want death. I want a life. Nothing has ever meant anything with you around. Not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties and festivals and there's nothing. I realized that at a certain point that when you smile at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I had never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, all of us, have always just been accessories in your version of a perfect world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. 
But now, now I'm somebody. I'm somebody, and you hate it. I'm happy that I'm doing something that makes me happy. It makes me happy even when it doesn't make you happy. And when you look at me now, you are seeing someone. And all I had to do was everything you hated. Isn't that so funny? And the funniest part is that I feel like I finally understand you. Because when I watch these die, I've never felt more alive. Because now I get it. I finally feel what you felt all this time. Control. But I'm not supposed to. That feeling's reverse for Stella, right? So she'll stop me at every turn, at every corner. And just like always, the story returns to being about Stella again. <laughs> Saying it out loud, there's an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just as awful as me. Maybe even more, when we consider everything that led to us being here now. Maybe that's why I still like you after all this. Your mind's more... up than anything I could come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you after everything. I can never get enough of how awful you are. I aspire to it. You know what sucks, though? Even this isn't going to last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do, and you'll keep wishing that I'll stop. But you'll get used to it. And just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know it, you'll go back to seeing me the way you see everyone else. Just another part of the story who repeats all of his old lines to you over and over and over again. Oh, that's it? Wait a minute, why did that end like that? Oh my gosh, that took forever. I'm so hot. I think that's all his lines, isn't it? I thought I was supposed to like get an ending where I killed this motherfucker. <laughs> but I don't know who's right here, okay? I don't know Stella enough and I don't know Lamp Chop enough and I don't know what the heck's going on here. Maybe there's still a way to make you happy, too. Uh-oh. Are we going to kill everybody? All right, well, I'm going home because uh, that obviously seems where the witch of the terrible blaze should go, of course. I'm going home now. He's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here. But am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to make each other happy. Even if recently, that's not the case. Maybe it's because I haven't been keeping up my end of the friendship. So, you're gonna kill everybody, aren't you? I'm sorry, what? Wow! Look, honey! Just for you! See? I can do it too! Alright, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then what's all this for? You don't expect me to believe any of this blood and guts are real, do you? Haha, <laughs> you're correct. It's all just magic and decoration. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Oh, I do. I think this stuff looks awful. If it was up to me, I'd tear it all down right now. But you like it. And I'm your friend. And I care about you. And the things that make you happy. We live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. I'm also, um, maybe hoping a bit that if you're happier, you'll stop killing everyone a little bit? Ha! <laughs> well, Stella, you're a riot. You wanted this to make me stop? Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Gosh, if what I do leads you to do all of this... I need to up the ant. Ante? Ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that'll really stick. I need to do something so f you have no idea how to fix it. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Come on, Lamb Chop. I'm doing all of this because I wanted you to be happy. So do I. Even still, wouldn't you be happier with things this way anyway? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you going to do that if there's no villain? I like the decorations, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. What a douchebag. Land chop! I'm happy that we're friends. Gosh dang. I know you are. What 
った<coughs> The sheep said to the witch, and they live happily ever after. What ending was this? What ending was this? Thank you for playing! Huh? Oh, no, I gotta start from the beginning. Alright, hold on. I guess this was the true ending, was it not? Alright, so maybe I just leave here? Oh, Lamb Chop. I tried to help you. But I'm not sure if you can be helped anymore. If that's the case, then... Am I gonna kill him? Oh, Lamb Chop. I didn't want to have to do this. But you've given me no choice. You won't let me help you. So I have to do it on my own. Ah. <sighs> Good morning, sunshine. What a beautiful day it is today. I should go check on Lamb Chop today. He might need a little help. Did I, um... Did I brainwash him? What? Did I replace him? Oh, good morning, Stella. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Are you okay today? You seem a little angsty. <laughs> Aren't I always? It's alright, I just, uh... I gave myself a bit of a paper cut this morning. I started bleeding and it really icked me out, you know? I prefer to avoid blood where I can. Haha. <laughs> I see. I know how you get with blood. Haha. <laughs> well, you always know who to come to if you ever need a bandage or something to kiss the boo boo better. Oh, of course. Thanks, Stella. You're the best. Thank you, Lamb Chop. I'm happy to hear you think so. Did I replace them or did I... Wrong end. Ba ba black sheep. So I did get the true end the first time. Did I replace him? I don't know. Anyway, that was sweet no death. I really enjoyed that. Even though goodness gracious, Lamb Chop can talk for years. But that's okay. It's okay. It was a nice little challenge. Um, I wasn't a dude, so please have mercy on my voice. Because I'm still female, so I couldn't really give, you know, justice to Lamb Chop. But I hope you guys enjoyed Sweet No Death. We got all the endings, so thank you to Lukezilla again for recommending me this game. I'm so glad I played them. I really do enjoy all of RK Kitten's games. They're still doing it, and I I'm good think I'm going to go back and check out that other circus game. Yeah, was it called, like, Semi-Aquatic Circus? I think that's what it was called. I haven't really gone back to it because I'm not sure if I should just wait for all the days to come out. Um, but we'll see. If you want to see the playlist where I play all the other RK Kitten games, or if you want to see the playlist where I played Blackout Hospital, then you can check the playlist out on the screen now. See you later, Masqueraders!